we're going to make today. It's a handy pot that holds a lot. A lot of what? Whatever you want, really. It's really handy and it looks great. Look at its amazing torn out nighttime scene. Now, to make this pot, you'll need a pot. An empty one, really, like this. You'll also need some sticky tape, some glue, lots of different coloured stickers, including some stars, and some sheets of coloured paper. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just a minute? No way! Really? Let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute! Right, the first thing to do is to get our black bit of paper and start tearing any shape you like, up and down, up and down. Now, this is going to make the torn out nighttime scene. There we go, get that bit there, move that down. It doesn't matter what shape you make, that's the beauty of this idea. Boy, ready to go quicker. I'm going as quick as I can, Toki. There we go. Right, now get the other bit of colour paper and some glue and stick this, there we go, along there and stick it on to our red, like that. Hurry up! Now let's get some stickers on. There's one, there's two and there's three. And how about some stars in the sky? There's one and two there. Right, now let's get this and put it around our top like that and stick it with some tape. Done! I'm... Just in time. And when you've finished, it can hold whatever you want, like pencils, some paintbrushes, and even a plant. And if you've got more than a minute, why not try some other torn out designs, like a seaside? Or even a countryside one. It's a pot that holds a lot, made in a minute. Why don't you try it? And here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Tear some black paper to make a nighttime scene. Put on some glue and then stick it to the red paper. Add some stickers for windows and stars. Then stick it around your handy pot like this. Try making it in a minute. Now, take a look at this. What a brilliant rainbow pastel picture. It's great fun to make and looks so good you'll be able to frame it. You will need coloured card, chalk pastels, scissors, a black pen, a glue stick and white stickers. Draw large wavy lines on one half of a piece of coloured card with chalk pastels like this. Then on the other side of the card, draw more lines but in a different pattern. Now draw a big fish on one pattern and a baby fish on the other and cut them out. Stick on white stickers for eyes, then add details with a black pen. Next, draw some seaweed with a green-coloured pastel onto some sea-coloured card. Now, glue both your fish onto your background. And you've made a fantastic, brightly coloured underwater scene. What a brilliant picture! Why don't you have a go? And then... Frame it! Isn't that effective? It makes me think of the sea. This fantastic seaside picture looks great, doesn't it? And it's made without using any brushes, just sponges and paint. It's very easy to do and looks so good, you'll be able to frame it. You will need some coloured paint, a pen and some sponge strips that have been carefully cut out of kitchen sponge like this. To make your seaside picture, start off by dipping one of the sponge strips into blue paint. Then drag it along the bottom of the paper, like this, so that the paint spreads with the sponge. It's easy. Just dip and drag, and if you run out of paint, just dip it and drag again. This is going to be the sea. Now let's do the same again with another piece of sponge and some green paint. It's a good idea to use a clean bit of sponge every time you use a different colour. 
this is going to be the harbour wall next to the sea. Now let's do the seaside cliffs with some brown paint. Next, use some nice bright colours for the seaside houses. You can drag your paint downwards to make a house shape like this. And don't forget to add a roof with some brown paint. You can make as many different coloured houses as you want. It's starting to look really effective, isn't it? We can add some more blue paint above the houses for the sky. And now, with another piece of sponge, let's add some boats. Just dip your sponge in the paint and drag it round in a curve shape like this. Add brown paint for the boat's mast with the edge of the sponge. You can do as many boats as you want. Now all that's left to do is add some details with a black felt tip pen. Draw doors and windows on your houses. Add some finishing touches to the boats. And add some details to your harbour wall so it really stands out. A sponge seaside picture. And you don't even need a paintbrush to make it. What a brilliant picture! Why don't you have a go? And then... Frame it! I like making pictures out of all sorts of things. Brilliant so. jungle picture. You don't even need a paintbrush to do it. Just paint and your fingers. It looks so good that you will be able to frame it. You will need some coloured paper, a black pen and lots of different coloured paints. Yellow, brown, orange, white and three different shades of green. Plus there's one other important ingredient. Your fingers! You will need to start off with some dark green paint. But if you don't have any, it's really easy to make. Just add a small amount of black paint to an ordinary green paint and mix together. The more black paint you add, the darker your green will be. Just dip your fingers into the paint and dab them downwards on the paper like this to make the trees at the back of the jungle. And you can use a different coloured green to make even more trees. This is great fun, but it can get a bit messy, so give your hands a wipe in between colours. Now make the tree trunks with the brown paint. You can do this by dipping the side of your hand into the paint and printing it in the same way. This gives you a nice thick tree trunk. Now leave it to dry. For the leaves on the trees, you'll need some light green paint. If you don't have any, just add white paint to the ordinary green paint and mix it together. Make leaves like this. Now for the grass. Dab some light green paint along the bottom of the paper. Add a bit of dark green. You can even add some jungle flowers with yellow paint. And let's make a tiger to live in the jungle. Dab orange paint from your finger in a circle for its head. Add some ears. And now for the face. Add eyes by making two small white dots with your finger. Add yellow dots on the ears and cheeks. And when it's dry, use a black pen for the eye and mouth. All finished! A fantastic finger paint jungle! What a brilliant picture! Why don't you have a go? And then... Frame it! Very impressive. Now for something really special. Now, take a look at this. This brilliant iceberg picture is great fun to make and looks so good you'll be able to frame it. You will need kitchen roll, gloopy PVA glue, paintbrushes, scissors, a pen, white paint, crayons, a pencil, coloured paper and some stickers. First, draw some pointy iceberg shapes on blue paper with a white crayon. Now fill in the icebergs with gloopy glue. Place some crumpled kitchen roll over the top. Add more glue on top of that and leave it to dry. Now draw some different sized penguin shapes with a white pencil on some black paper. Cut the penguins out and stick on torn out bits of white paper for the penguins tummies. Add some orange paper triangles for beaks and white stickers for eyes. 
Use a black pen to make the pupils. Then stick the penguins onto the icebergs. Finally, add some snow with dots of white paint as a finishing touch. What a brilliant picture! Why don't you have a go? And then... Frame it! Fantastic! But it looks very cold. Now, take a look at this. This African sunset picture is great fun to do and looks so good you'll be able to frame it. You will need white paper, red paint, a paintbrush, a spoon, black and yellow oil pastels and water. Start by folding a piece of paper in half. Now draw a picture in oil pastels above the folded line of the paper. Draw the ground with a black oil pastel and then add a tree. As we're in Africa, let's draw two giraffes. For each one, draw a small head, a long neck, a body and four legs. Then draw the sun with a yellow oil pastel. Now for the really clever bit. We're going to make the bottom half of the picture look like a lake. First, fold the paper in half and then scrape along the back of it with a spoon. Unfold the paper to reveal a reflection of your drawing. Then choose a sunset coloured paint like red and add water to it to make a watery mixture. Cover your picture with the mixture, making the top half slightly darker than the bottom half. It's a beautiful African sunset and the great thing is you only have to draw half of it. What a brilliant picture! Why don't you have a go? And then... Frame it! Isn't that effective? I like making art out of all sorts of things. Let's so... see what the weather's like today. I can't wait to get outside! <laughs> oh no! What a horrible storm! Oh, I wish I was somewhere nice and hot and sunny. I'd love to go to a magical holiday island where there was lots of ice cream, sunshine and fresh coconuts from the trees. Mmm, oh. <laughs> what a wonderful dream, eh? <laughs> oh, wait a minute, though. We don't have to dream. We can make the sand, the sunshine and the magical island come to us. I've just had a great idea. Let's try something. Try making a terrific tropical picture using sand and gloopy glue. Let's make it. We'll need some things from the doodle drawers. Come on. Some food colouring and a spoon. Some gloopy PVA glue and a pen. And some thick card. Ooh. Now we'll also need some play sand, which you can get from a toy shop, and some icing bags, which you can get from a supermarket. I'll be back in two ticks. <laughs> I've got them. Here we go. There's my icing bag. I'm going to put that there. And here's the play sand. I'm going to put that down nice and safe. Now I've got plans for those later. But for now, take a look at this brilliant sand picture. It's amazing. And to make it, we need to separate our sand into four separate bowls that look a bit like this. Now into each bowl, we need to put two cups of sand. One, two, and do the same in the other bowls. Now we're going to add some food colouring to each bowl. Now you can choose whatever colours you like, but I'm going to add yellow, blue, green, and I'm also going to mix up brown by adding a bit of green and a bit of red. Now remember, the more food colouring you add, the stronger your colour will be.
Now we're going to add gloopy glue to each bowl. <laughs> now we can start mixing. You need to make sure your mixture will squeeze through an icing bag, but don't make it too runny. There. Now we're going to scoop sand from each bowl into an icing bag. Now, if you find this tricky, you might want to ask an adult to help you. Make sure you use a different bag for each colour. There we go. Now we need to draw a picture on some coloured card. Now, this blue card will make a nice sky for our tropical island. Now, let's colour it in. Use the yellow icing bag to colour in the island and the sun. <laughs> Gently squeeze out the mixture to fill in your picture. <laughs> Again, if you find this tricky, ask an adult to help you. Now use the brown sandy mixture to fill in the trunk and the coconuts. We can use the blue mixture to colour in the sea. <laughs> And lastly, the green sandy mixture we can use for the leaves on the palm tree. <laughs> and look, it's all done. Now all we need to do is leave it to dry overnight. Night! <laughs> <laughs> Morning! Hey! And when it's dry, it'll be nice and hard like this. It's a terrific tropical island made out of sand. But you don't just have to make an island. Oh, no! How about making a red and black crab on yellow sand? Or even a magical purple and pink castle on glittery grass? Fantastic! Why don't you try it? <laughs> Oh, no, it's still raining outside. Ow. Oh, well, at least it's not raining in here. <laughs> oh, 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 no, not again. Oh, 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 no, it's raining coconut. Oh, ow, oh, no, stop it. Oh, oh, I'm getting out of here. Oh.